Before putting the cover on, uh, I put on this crank sensor. Now that's critical because if you don't put that in place, then the car will not start. It will crank, but it will not start. So uh, gotta have that in place. Hello everyone, thanks for watching the video. Today I'm with our 1997 Toyota Camry. This is a 2.2 liter. This is the 5SFE engine and uh, was working on it and having a little bit of a, of a problem getting it to restart after I did some work and found out that I had, um, I, I knew I had taken this sensor out. I didn't know what it was exactly. And then uh, tried to start the car without putting it back in place. And so uh, I was not getting a start, just a crank on the car. So uh, it took me a little bit uh, of uh, figuring out what happened. And so um, I want to show you where that sensor at. And that sensor I'm talking about is a crank crankshaft position sensor. Um, so uh, if you're having a no start, uh, if you have a check engine light on your dash that is uh, pulling up a code PO335, this may be uh, your problem. And uh, maybe you're having irrational idle. Uh, maybe the car stalls and will not start again. So this is something you might want to check out. It's not that hard to, to find where it's at, but it is kind of hard to get to. So um, now you can see I've got my alternator already uh, take I got to put this back together, but there's a bracket, you know, you're gonna uh, That where you adjust your alternator so you should be able to see that bracket pretty easy uh, I'm on the passenger side over here and Here's the bracket now the sensor Connector is right here on that bracket And then it goes down the wire goes down Here's the top cover uh, your timing belt cover, but it just goes down there. Now it'll probably be clipped in here uh, And you follow it down now the difficult part is you're gonna have to take the wheel off ah, Well, that's not really difficult, but you gotta take the wheel off now. It can be pretty difficult Well, we'll still get ahead of ourselves. There's going to be a cover we're Gonna have a cover a splash shield cover right here it's going to be held on by two 10 millimeter bolts i just put them back in place here remove that cover and then you're going to see your crank uh shaft pulley here uh, harmonic balancer uh, is another term for it and you're going to have a uh, bolt here crankshaft bolt now that can be kind of hard to uh to turn because when you try to loosen it the whole shaft is or pulley is going to turn so you're going to need to kind of this is going to need to be held somehow. Um, if you have a uh, impact wrench, you know, you got to be able to just, uh, loosen it without any problems. I think it's held on by about 80 foot pounds. So it's not a huge amount of torque, but uh, it is pretty difficult to uh, get off. Um, if you get that off, then you're going to have to pull this off. Okay, now it's been on there a long time for years or maybe it's never even came off You're probably going to have to get a puller that you can rent out. Let me show you the puller that I used Here's a puller kit that I rented from um, it's 23 bucks. I probably won't even take it back um, I think I got it from AutoZone. So it looks like this right here. There's plenty of videos showing how to use one of these uh, in my case, I had to use my own bolts. I'm not exactly sure what size they were, but uh, yeah, it's not hard to figure out how to use this thing. Basically, you, you just let me show you where you put those screws. Screws are going to go through any one of these two holes here. You find out the best way to line it up for your specific uh, situation. Put those screws in. One right here, one right here. You may have to turn this to get them, you know, facing you at an easier position. And then you put that puller in. Uh, you put a wrench on top of that puller and start turning it, and it will pull this off. Once you get that off, you're going to have to loosen the bolts on the cover or take the cover off, probably just loosen it. And you should be able to get the sensor out. So let me show you where the sensor is at.
and replacing it will be in reverse really. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, crankshaft pulley in place. Now this is only going to go on one way, again the keyway lines up. So uh, yeah, that's that's how to do that. Um, top view here. Just follow the wire down there. And you'll see it right next to the crankshaft pulley here, harmonic balancer. I believe that's the bolt right there. But uh, you know, much easier from working to work uh, down there. So yeah, that's the bolt right there. All right, thanks for watching the video. Till next time, have a nice day. Take care.